G'day folks, welcome back uh, to this uh, continuation of Hold Your Position at All Costs. We are currently heading into the 1300 turn on the 16th of December. We have our cup, we have the last chit, the American, uh, sorry, Allied Direct Command, about to be drawn. Just getting everything set up. Uh, so we've run through the turn. We have to remove the barrage markers from the end of that last turn. And just to recap, uh, the Germans had been trying to push through Marnik here, and the Germans have just been reinforced by these uh, Shermans, which are going to help with their defence rating. Uh, it's going to make it hard for the 2nd Panzer Division to break through to Clairvaux in this area with any haste. So we're now focusing probably the bulk of our uh, attention in the south here. They have uh, just about reduced those engineers in Hosingen, and then one more hit and they'll be gone. And more importantly, the 39th Fusilier Regiment has uh, sort of bypassed Hosingen and now just has some Shermans in the way. Now these Shermans are out in the open, but the Germans need to clear this road entirely, so they can't bypass it, they need to get them off this secondary road. So that's their objective down in the south. Right, so we've removed the barrage marker, we can now advance the turn marker. It is the 1300 turn, so there are no weather effects, which is nice for the Germans. We, uh, that's, that's determining weather, there's no American air power. Uh, we can place these reinforcements in the box. Let me get the reinforcement schedule up and we'll have a look at what's coming on and where. So in the 1300 turn we have one, two, four companies of the 78th Grenadier Regiment with their commander, Oberst Unbekannt. They are coming in at 9120 which is, as I mentioned in the first video, most of these reinforcements come in right here. Um, and again, I'll just put them off to the side there. This is not where they start, but um, they come on when their uh, division activation chip is drawn. So this then becomes, once they come on, this will become an avail available formation activation chip. Um, and until they get close to the front, I really don't need to spend any points on that. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, um, comments, if you notice anything, let me know. And uh, yeah, see how we go. Alright, so we now can buy dispatch points. And just to recap, the 28th is doing pretty well. They have a, they may actually buy just one dispatch point, just about up to nine, which means that anything less than a nine will increase their dispatch by one. The Vox Grenadier will buy one two, uh, three, one, two, three, they'll put the um, 39th Fusiliers in now, and they will put the 77th Grenadiers in next turn. So, we have purchased that for next turn, and that will go in now, which reduces that by one. Second Panzer will purchase Comfort of Cohen for now, so they, they are already there. Um, they will also buy one dispatch point. Again, just putting them up to nine. It's a nice place to be. All but guaranteeing, except with a roll of nine, that um, they gain some command at least. Um, and now we can put these chits in the cup. And we start with the first counter, the last counter in the cup from the last turn is the first counter this turn, so it's an allied direct command. And uh, well, we might slow down these Germans in this area here by, you know, we can't, no line of sight. Um, oh wait, yeah, oh, can they see? 
Yeah, I believe they can get minus... Oh, no. No, we won't do anything. Nothing... Nothing around here. Uh, actually, could I spend a command point to rally these guys? I will. So, they're going to spend a command point to rally from suppression. I believe they're in command. So that's automatic. Hey, Adwolf. How are you? I'm surprised anyone's awake. This is uh, around midday in Australia. I didn't think anyone would be on, but I thought I've got some uh, some time over my lunch break to uh, run through some turns. So I thought I'd do it live, just in case anyone wanted to pop in and watch. Um, all right. That's the American Direct Command. That's pretty much all that's happening. Next, we have uh, their division activation. So we roll for command. It's a 3, halved rounded down is 1, plus their command rating is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, roll for dispatch, an 8, there we go, luckily we bought that dispatch point, it gives us 1 extra at least. And now, um, the rest of their division activation, I'm just checking reinforcements as well, make sure there are no other units activated, oh I should also mention, um, when, yeah we get plus 1 command rating, and plus one dispatch rating on this turn for the uh, Volks Grenadier Division. And next turn the bridges are open. So they, they're getting stronger, they're getting better. Um, okay. So, American Division activation. And I've got these uh, AA guns kind of stranded. I made a mistake early uh, by moving them into this area when I think they shouldn't have been allowed to cross this sloped terrain. Um, but, living with the consequences of that action, and trying to do something... Um, uh, going to move them down to get closer to this road here, in, in effect interdicting it. Um, so that's one. They're then going to spend... a command point to fire on these guys in column. Oh no, I can't. There's two columns there. They'll fire on these guys in column. Uh, in uh, in a village hex, a minus one modifier. They'll fire at the guys that have taken the cohesion hit. Uh, so it is. F yeah. Four or less for their company bonus. Success, so it's six. Firing on infantry at range two is minus one, so that's five. Minus one for the village is four or less. And it's a miss. Um, but now they can basically. Um, roll for opportunity fire any time someone tries to move along this road or move through this village here. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking of where else they could go. They could move up to the north. I think this is a decent place to occupy at least for now. Okay, that's... what else? Okay, so we've got this... Um, these light mortars, they can fire. They'll fire on the mast hex here, targeting the top infantry, needing a 5 or less for company bonus. Fail. Now needing a 4 minus 1 is 3 or less. That's a miss. Yeah, Ard was just asking about, um, uh, people asking about how to play videos for GTS. Um, Lee Forrester has a great series of videos. I think he uses PowerPoint to kind of guide. They are brilliant, detailed, instructional videos. They're quite long. I think each of those videos is about uh, an hour long. Uh, if you go to Lee Forrester's, there's a link to, I put a link to Lee Forrester's preview video in the, in the comments of this video. If you go to his channel and check out his videos, he's got a great sort of introductory series on GTS in general. Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, um, Probably not the best in, 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 in terms of instructional stuff. Um, I might s sort of do a primer at some stage, but um, I try not to... Yeah, Lee's got this great series of videos, and um, the quality of those has really deterred me from um, doing it again. All right. What else can we do with this division activation? Um, we had some engineers here. Light mortars have gone from there.
Yeah, Ty did some as well. I forgot about that, of course. I did link to those in some of my early The Greatest Day videos. Um, so I'm done with that division activation. I'm not going to spend anything else at this stage. Alright, 26 Fox Grenadier Division. They roll for command. They get 1 plus 5. 1. They roll for dispatch. Mm, no, just short. They're struggling for dispatch points and command points. Um, okay. Well, let's... um. Where do we start? They've got all these reinforcements coming on. They've got these wagons. They, uh... I'm not too worried about these engineers. They will be cleared out. I'd really like to start thinking about these tanks. Now, the tanks uh, have picked a good position here. Um, to get line of sight to these tanks, this 39th Fusilier Regiment has to be right adjacent to them. Which means these guns aren't going to be particularly helpful. Um, I'm worried about this northern road because the Germans will have to clear out both Marnock and then Munhausen. Munshausen. Um, and there's this organic artillery and infantry in improved position. So this is going to be try to be my focus. It's just a matter of how to get the guns in close. Let's um what I'm gonna do is kind of try to move around through the wooded terrain with uh, some of my infantry. Um, so these guys are gonna go one, two, three, four. And then we'll go one, two, three, and the whole they can't move there, sorry. That's in the line of sight. I will look uh yeah. One, two. During the, just again to clarify, during a divisional activation, you can't, as your first action, you can move, but you can't move into the firing r uh, range, I can't remember what it's called, of um, enemy units. So they have to stop short of line of sight. Granite Verthas are going to just mm, hold their position. Other infantry moving through now. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I might rally these guys. War. No, they're, they're out of line of sight. Oh, actually, hold on. We have opportunity fire. This is why they're here. Four or less as they try to move out. They pass. Moving out of line of sight. So they're moving. Let's get the thread. Get the thread. That's not where I wanted it to go. Yeah, so it crosses that uh, that forest. So moving out of line of sight is a negative one. So they need three or less. Uh, with the terrain is negative two, two or less. They miss. So that first unit can go one, two, three, four. Um, you know what? I might actually. Well, they can't move in. They can't cross. Um, so they will just m move out as well. And of course, opportunity five before they do so fails. So one, two, three, four. Um, these guys cannot have line of sight. There's two slope. Um, I think. I mean, I, have, I think two slopes blocks line of sight. Let me bring up my terrain effects chart. Let me bring up rule book. <laughs> and checking slope terrain because it's not crests as in uh, most other games. Um, hex or the target. When two units are both down slope, the line of sight trace through high ground. It's blocked. I think it's blocked. It's either or, not... yeah. Um, so these guys will avoid that town and go one, two, three, four. And they'll make it out of column for five. Keep in mind, they... they have five different points. Um, now this this wagon behind the line. One, two, three, four. And we can move the rest of these units. Um, they they're all pretty happy. They're in a good position at the moment. These wagons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, now across the river, it's half the movement. One, two, three, four. Get them into column. 
one, two, three, four. It's a slow process. Um, all right, these engineers are gonna just move up here. One, two, up here at the slope. One, two, three, and they'll stop there. Uh, they will very slowly kind of attempt to get rid of this rear guard. Okay, now we have these reinforcements arriving, and I'll have one of them start in column. May as well start with the granite vevers. Uh, so, one, two, and a half. I'll stop there. These guys, one to get into column, two, three. These guys will get into column and not move because it's blocked, and these guys will sit with them. And I'll put their commander there, ready to help out. Alright, I think that's about it for this divisional activation. Um, I do have these guys down here. I uh, <laughs> don't think they're going to be do doing much. Um, again, set infantry company. One, two, three, four, five. So they're at command range. They. Mm, mm. What the heck? One. Two, three and a half. Yeah, I mean, as I said I can, earlier in the other video, I can always divert some forces here. Yeah, Ard, Ard was talking about um, Market Garden back, game back in February. I mean, I, <laughs> I live in regional Australia, so there's not many big gaming conventions anywhere in this area. We do have big sort of cons in Sydney and um, Melbourne. Um, not really wargaming cons though. I see the photos of everyone posting these games from GTS and Love a and other big monster games and I'm very jealous. Um, uh, having said that, we did play, a, f a few friends and I played a big game of TI4 yesterday. Um, I was thinking about doing just a quick after action report. Um, epic game, uh, pretty quick game, we were all kind of veterans, went for a couple of hours and resulted in a quite surprising <laughs> victory in the early afternoon by, who was it, the Brotherhood of Yin, I think they're called, seized Mercator Rex, uh, Mercator Rex, yeah, and nabbed three victory points in one turn. Um, so, division activation is done. Saving my command points, okay. Which is good, because now we have, well, is it good? Fusilier Regiment 39, straight away. Um, which means that these guys can go one, two, three, four on their first section. They could shoot if they want, try and conserve my command points. One, two, three, four. Uh, they now have line of sight to this tank, so their mortar will fire. Uh, three, minus three, needing a zero to hit. Nothing, but we do have a light barrel. Actually, it's plus two. Oh, hello. That might be a hit, because it is three, minus three, plus two for column. It is a two, needing a never order two. So. This is a green unit on a tank, it's a possible suppression. Um, I'll spend a command point to automatically pass that. But there is a light barrage marker placed on top. Um, these guys will move up. These guys, while they can, will rally from that cohesion hit. We'll try to uh, move around the flanks, or... No, we won't. We'll just move straight in because I don't want them to opportunity fire. So one, two and one, two, three, sorry, the crest, at uh, the slope. Another uh, mortar unit here, needing a four minus three plus two, should be a three or less. That's a direct hit and a cohesion hit. Well, this is good. One cohesion hit already on this armoured unit, and they've only just confronted them. Um, okay, I'm a bit worried about this. This is a foot unit, so they don't have to stick to the roads. So they can avoid bock holes and their line of sight. Actually, it's not line of sight, is it? Um, oh, do I go safe? Or do I just rush straight in? They could reach at one, two, and then unlimber. But then they're in right next to the tank. Or they could come up here and fight, shoot across here, one, two, three, four, and then drop out a column, or I could just take it, s I'm going to take it slow and save because it's still a few hours to go, so I'm going to go, Whoa. one, two, three, um, and we'll stop there.
Now, in fact, what I should have done, actually, I'll take that back. I'll fire with this mortar. Uh, is there any unit with the line of sight? Look, if they go up to there, and st actually, stop. Let me think about this. They'll get out of column first. They're a foot unit. They're not, um, yeah, they're not wheeled or tracked, so they can just walk up the road here. Now they're in the line of sight, but they're not going to move any further, so they'll stop there. Oh, you got a TI4 club. TI4 streamlines play. Yeah, it does. Um, we finished our game in 4 hours 20 minutes. This is a 4 play game, up to 10 victory points in 4 hours 20. As I said, we're all pretty much veterans of TI4. Uh, played a few games. Um, so it moved pretty s smoothly. Well, we had a quick break for lunch. Um, we have kind of a... One of our players, the guy who owns the game, plays very regularly online, so he's very good. But he didn't win. Um, I'll, I can, I've got some photos. Like I said, I'll probably put up a quick AAR, just two, three minutes. Now this mortar is going to fire at this AA gun to blind them, um, needing pretty much... Uh, well, actually three might hit. Three minus one is two or less. Yeah, that's a possible suppression. Um, which they'll automatically pass. But most importantly, they're now blinded. Now I could have done this earlier, um, but and, and move the, the guns further up. But uh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> um, and that's everything for that formation activation. Um, but yeah, Ti4 is a great game. It's a kind of quintessential 4x. You start off with like one or two planets and you need to expand but you know it's yes you're expanding you're fighting combat you're gaining technology but so much of the game revolves around this sort of tactical strategy fleet pool system we've got these little tokens and you need to manage um, these tokens and often the game is won or lost around who most effectively manages their tokens so the last game we played actually I just had this huge surplus of tokens and was able to stockpile stock, yeah, stockpile my uh, tactics tokens which meant that I basically had more actions in the turn so that once everyone had passed I had I think two or three actions left over and I used that to secure victory this turn was just a really surprising move by the Brotherhood player who uh, yeah, captured Mercator Rex and we didn't think anything of it until he kind of revealed that he'd achieved this uh, 2 VP objective and his secret objective to race into the lead now the second Panzer Division activation and I'm rolling for command. That's a good one. One, two, three, four, plus a command of five brings them up to maximum. And rolling for dispatch two, so they get two dispatch points. And in pretty good shape, and this is the thing, they've got all this command and all these dispatch points, but there's not much they can do just yet. Excuse my squeaky chair. Um, I'm just going through the reinforcement schedule to see when they're, well, I can bring up the map actually. Uh, they do have two very important Kampf groups, von Falois in particular. Actually, no, this is a Kampf group, uh, not Kampf group, Panzerlee Division, which is, that's, that's, sorry, my mistake. This is Second Panzer, this is Panzerlee, but they are placed under the command, I'm trying to remember when I played through the uh, campaign a little bit, they are placed under the command of, drum roll, wait for it the 26 Fox Grenadier Division, which is going to place even more pressure on their command. But again, coming off the board, they won't need their command immediately. There's a lot of pressure on the Fox Grenadiers to um, increase their command and dispatch points here. Alright, so, we do have <coughs> Second Panzer Division activation. All these units can sort of move and fire, um, but not as their first action. And... look. They've got so many command points up their sleeve, let's spend some. So we'll spend one, two on this hex here. So, one, two. Uh, these guys, five or less company bonus, yes. Six, minus two, these are their armed units, so six minus two. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the, the modifiers. So minus three, but an armoured unit, so three or less is a miss. Same with the top one, company bonus, nope. So now they're one or less. Nope. Alright, let's try and spend... 
Uh, another command point. Company bonus, five or less. Nope. Uh, was it one or less? Nope. Um, I could also just aim for the Shermans instead of the infantry. They're both kind of equivalent. These guys do a lot of damage with their dual purpose guns and a decent trip quality. These guys do probably, they, they, they will fire twice because of their light mortars. Well, really they're only firing once. Look, I think these are the bigger threat to the Germans at the moment. They're considered armoured in the entrenchments. Um, and their light mortars mean they fire for free during the division activation. Uh, let's have a go with the pioneers. Okay, they need five or less. Nope. One or less. Nope. Um, yeah, desperate for some, for some help up the top there. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I could send 77th Grenadier up there once they've finished down here. Uh, that's pretty much it for second Panzer Division. Can't forget Cochran. Okay, here we go. Now they get these free activations. And look, I'm starting to lean towards assaulting. I don't think I've had an assault yet in this scenario. I'll need to get my assault chart out. Um, let me... Oh, I'm almost... I really... I've got a 1 in 5 chance of hitting with each of, the, each of these units. Um, and they do have a good assault rating. It's a dual purpose guns assault. Um, yeah, look... Jeez, no, it's scary because of these these the decent trip quality, but not great. Let's keep shooting and see if we can at least eliminate one of them. We'll start from the top. Um, in fact, you know what? I've been forgetting my off map artillery. Steve would be angry at me. Um, starting with these guys, needing four or less. No, needing five. Targeting this unit, of course. So two or less. No. But uh, light barrage marker. I think I forgot the off map for the earlier activations. Now these guys, four or less. Yes. So hitting six, that's going to be a, a heavy barrage. Six minus three is three or less. No. But a heavy barrage on those guys, which could now help a bit better. Um, I'm going to move these pioneers one, two, three, to start putting some pressure on Clavo. This is this is the the river we need to cross, but it's not just crossing the river again; it's clearing this road. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's start for shooting five or less from these pioneers. Yes. Now they've got six minus three again, targeting the infantry. Three or less. Yes. Um, again, this is considered an armoured unit so it is just actually it's a suppression result a three is a suppression um, and I have a sense that the American player here has a sense that the German player is thinking about assaulting at the same time um, they've got a lot of trips of fire this is this is a, so one of those difficult decisions you take the suppression or you try to convert it into a cohesion hit uh, and you know what, I'm going to take the suppression. I'm not overly happy about it, but I'm going to I'm going to you know, gamble on the Germans not having the guts to assault, and the Americans being able to rally from that suppression before anything worse happens to them. So good hit from the pioneers. Now these guys, five or less. Yep. Now three or less. No. Yeah, they're not going to assault. It'll be a negative. Two, possibly negative three, uh, negative two rating to the troop. They need three or less. Mm, that's a forty percent chance of passing. Mm. There'd be opportunity fire on the dual purpose guns. They are suppressed, so they won't be able to get there. They'll get one shot off. No, I'll keep shooting at the Americans, I think. If I can just get... Uh <laughs> nope. 
get an assault. Get an assault. What the heck? All right, bravery checks. So let me just reach over and grab my uh, assault charts if I can find them. Okay. So most um, titles in the Grand Tactical series come with nice little um, summary booklets, and what I'm drawing here is the Assault Flowchart. It's a two-page. This one's from The Greatest Day, um, but there's a similar chart in, in Mercury and other titles. Okay, so they um, I select an Assaulting Stack, this stack here, and a Defending Stack. I check the prerequisites. Um, they can move, they have a non-blank Assault uh, rating. They are not entrenched. They don't have an, or any IP on them. It's removed. They're not suppressed. They have at least one step. They're adjacent to the defender. They are able to enter the defender's hex. They are assaulting only one enemy stack, yes, and they're not under a heavy barrage. Um, so yes, they meet the prerequisites. They need to do a bravery check. And they, we use the lowest defense rating out of all enemy units that have the assaulting hex. So we use basically a negative three here. Um, but then we apply positive 1. Okay, so you subtract minus 1. So it is 5 minus uh, 3 goes down to 2. Minus minus 1 is plus 1, so 3. Um, oh, but it's minus 2 if any defending unit is in an entrenchment. That's a critical factor that I forgot about. So, look, changing my mind. Not going to, because that brings it from a 3 or less to a 1 or less, which is only a 1 in 5 chance. So they're just going to shoot. So 5 or less, nope. 1 or less, nope. Bottom one, 5 or less, nope. 1 or less, nope. And with those rolls, that would have been terrible in the assault. Um, yeah, okay. So they're done. The second last chip is the German direct command. Uh, I want to save them, and I'll save these guys as well. So yeah, nothing off map that I can want to do right now. Can do. Um, yeah. All right. So I think we're done. The last chit is the event, which will be the first chit in play next turn. So we're at the end of the. Is that the 1300 turn? Um, we remove barrage markers from play, move the turn record up one, and look at all these reinforcements coming. Um, I'm just going to move these off to the side for now. This is not the best place for them. just kind of want them out of the way. This is the big turn for the uh, German reinforcements. There's a lot happening this turn. Um, 1500 turn on the 16th of December. Uh, determine the weather. It is none again. Uh, reinforcements, in fact I should place them in the reinforcement boxes. So, we have these reinforcements scheduled to arrive with their formation activation. We have these reinforcements scheduled to arrive with their formation activation. And then we have the first of the Panzerlier units scheduled to arrive. Uh, again, so actually they're under the command of the Volksgrenadiers, so they will come on when they are drawn. Yeah, okay. Alright, reinforcements. Are all good. Now, let's look at our dispatch points. They'll buy... Oh, they're pretty happy with the dispatch points. They're going to keep them right there where they are. These guys really need dispatch points. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and now I'm in a bit of tr trouble because... Alright, let's buy for two dispatch points. The... Uh, those guys. They'll purchase last turn for this turn. Um, no, sorry, I meant that one, not that one. Um, so yes, 
they will purchase last turn. They're buying this 39 to put in the game to put pressure on that main road. This is going to be the most important formation activation down here. And they're out of dispatch points and almost out of command points. These guys, however, have plenty of dispatch points. So they will purchase Comfort of Cochin again. And they don't want to buy this uh, Grenadier Regiment 78 because they're still a long way from the front. It would enable them. Actually, sorry, it's a false Grenadier anyway. They don't have the points for it. But uh, yeah, again, they don't want to buy it. So these are the chits that are going into the cup. We have, also we have another event, oh, sorry, this is an event, not an event shit. Um, now, I could, I could do this wrong, but I think uh, this is separate to the historical events. This is, I believe, and I'm prepared to be wrong here, that this is an event that just, oh no, sorry, this is an historical event. So, it's not an actual counter. But it will happen when the yeah, event shit is drawn. So, we're now ready for the next turn. First shit is the event. And the historical event is that the bridges are now open. Um, the roads, the southern road in particular, is cl fairly clear. So we can get some units rushing on quite quickly. And uh, again, we have the uh, Fox Grenadier arriving um here from this this hex here just above the artillery park uh we've got the second panzer units arriving uh up here on this road and the panzer Lear units coming on down here in the south as well all right that is the historical event for this turn so that is the event ship which is pretty good timing for the germans now rolling for command three one, two, three, and oh, plus their command rating of five, two, three, four, five, and dispatch is just the one. And again, I could always throw, I've got this uh, 110th Infantry Regiment sitting there. If I want to activate them again, um, at present I don't. I don't. These guys could move, come around the south here. There's this road linking up this bridge near Droile with sort of Pinish. Um, but pretty happy with where things are. Okay. So the AA guns here. Um, yes, they're kind of blocking that road, but. Look, let's have a shot. They're going to spend a command point to try and target these guns with a plus three armor rating. Um, four or less company bonus? No. Needing a four. Plus three is seven. Minus one is six. Minus one for range is five or less. Two. So a yellow two on an unarmored target is a suppression result. And they'll just take that. Because again they're confident they can uh, recover it and block the line of sight of these guys before they do any more damage. Um, and look, we've got this this armour down here. They're here for a reason. Command points. First of all, they want to... They'd like to get a column, but this is going to be subject to... They have to get a column, I think. It, <laughs> What I'm thinking is here is they, if they move to get a column, there's opportunity fire from four adjacent infantry uh, who can who fires at them before they get out of column. Um, five adjacent infantry. Uh, they could take a cohesion hit to get out of column. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Hmm. Spend a command point as a second action just to get them out of column. But before they do so, opportunity fire. So we've got one, yes, 
firing at uh, 6, minus 1 is 5 or less, no. Second one, 5 or less, no. Third opportunity fire, yes, firing at 6, sorry, 6, minus 1 is 5 or less, no. Opportunity fire, no. And the last one, opportunity fire, yes, that's a cohesion hit. Oh well, there you go. They almost, almost, almost made it. Um, this is a bit scary because this is the bridge and this tank just has two more cohesion hits and they're eliminated, which is doable given the massive uh, 39 Fusilier infantry we have around here. Um, and there aren't many, <laughs> there aren't any active American units in this area. Um, Jeez. Time to get some reinforcements to the air, I think. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount up these guns. Actually, I think I have to put them in column. For, they're in they're in wooded terrain. So, um, now how does this work? Because uh, wheeled units can't be in woods; they have to use roads. So, I think I think I have to get them sort of um, onto a road before they can. Yeah, before they can uh, unmount. So I think I have to basically um, prolong them, uh, which is a, a trip quality check. Um, and uh, but I can spend a command point. So what they're going to do is they're going to prolong into here. It takes their entire turn spending a command point to pass the troop quality check required. The no. Oh no, it's not a, not an asterisk. It's, it's a no movement. What did I do? Setting them up there. So I've made a mistake in setup by putting them in the woods where basically they they can't move out of it. <laughs> um, yeah. My problem is if these guys do mount up, they're now a wheeled unit, and wheeled units can't leave watered terrain unless along a road. So they, they, this organic artillery is not moving anywhere. Um, doesn't give me many other options to help reinforce this this position over here. Things are suddenly looking pretty good for the Germans. Look, I've got this company here. They're going to leave their in, uh, position. Um, one, two, three. Four. They're going to try and cross over here as fast as they can um, and just block this bridge. They will not just block the bridge, they kind of need to hold here because if I block Panish, the Germans can still find a route across. If I block the woods here, they can go straight through Panish. So I need to kind of hold in the woods here. And now, yeah. Um, so they're done. Next activation. There we go. Fusilier Regiment 39. Let's see how much damage they can do to these tanks. Um, first of all, my mortars. Oh, actually, first of all, off-map artillery, which I think I forgot last time. And under this commander, it is two and three. So these two guns on the left. First of all, we'll use the mortars to target the AAs. Line of sight for uh, these guys are suppressed, actually. So. Um, They, uh, let me just think about the order in which I'm going to do this. Um, I think I'll, I'll rally first. So they're in command, so they will rally. Um, but not move. I really don't want them to suffer opportunity fire. So they're done. But now, we have a um, line of sight to these guys, so they can spot for the mortars. The mortars will take a shot at 3, and miss, but place a light barrage. Okay, now, now I'll use my off-map artillery um, to target the tanks up here. 
So first one, three or less. Yes. Now it's six minus three, three or less. Yes. Uh, keep in mind this is an armored target, so it's just going to be a possible suppression, and they're definitely going to automatically pass that. Second unit, three or less for company bonus. No. Four minus three is one or less. That's a cohesion hit. This is critical. This is now a step loss and a light barrage marker. Um, in fact, the first one should have been a barrage marker anyway, shouldn't it? Um, and that was a heavy barrage, I believe. Whew, one more hit and we've cleared the road. We may even be... One, two, three... Wow, we can almost cross this bridge. Five movement points. Four. Let's see how we go anyway. Um, so, infantry firing away. Five or less company bonus. No. Needing a one or less. Yes. Possible suppression. This is small arms. It will automatically pass that. Second one, five or less. Yes. Needing a... So it's six minus three. Three or less. No. These guys... Um, five or less. Yep. It's three or less. No. Now before I move these guys, activate these guys, I'm going to move these in for one. Um, we are so close, so I think I might start spinning. Oh, I've got one command point. I won't spend it as much as I'd like to. The mortars can fire though. Four minus three is one or less. Yes, this is a possible suppression, which they will automatically pass. And these guys basically needing a zero to hit. Oh, that's it. Green mortar on an armoured target is a cohesion hit. They are done. That's pretty big, because now these guys can mount up one, two, three, four, and block this path here, and then one, two, three, four. Um, they yeah, they've, they've, they've kind of cleared that road. Um, they can... So victory is determined by if and when the German player can trace a path of road hexes from the bridge, from Dasberg Bridge and Gmund Bridge across the Clerf River, free of American units and fire zones. Right, so it's not quite clear of fire zones yet check this at the end of each turn as well. So it's not immediate. Yeah, thanks Adwell. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> um. Okay. Things looking good for the Germans. Ah, so this gun will be released once a unit um, passes within its uh, line of sight firing range, which has of course happened. I just need to double check the no activation rules. Um, restrictions on vehicles. Okay, um, <coughs> they're removed during the division activation before placing reinforcements for a unit under a no activation. Remove the action when an enemy unit is within the fire zone, so it's immediately removed. Okay, so maybe they can... it's immediately removed so when they when this unit, when the first unit rather, moves there. So as soon as they try to leave that hex, so if I'll just take this back a bit. So when they try to leave this hex, they are subject to opportunity fire, five or less. Yes, that's six. They're moving out of line of sight, so it'll be six minus one is five, four, three, two, long range, two or less. It's a miss, so they can move down there. That's one, two, three, four. This unit can come along here, and as they try to enter Pitnish, actually, they might come around the, the southern way. Um, they do have line of sight there. No, that goes straight through. So, opportunity fires, they move into Pinish. 
yes. Uh, it is line of sight to line of sight, so that's plus two, so eight, seven, six, five. Eight, seven, six, five. Five or less. Oh, that's going to hurt. Um, it's a hit. And they're in there. <sighs> oh, given that hit, they've only got one step less uh, left. I mean, they do need to now clear out this AT gun, because um, they project line of sight onto this road. Um, so they will take a cohesion hit to get out of column rather than risk another step loss or anything worse. Well, nothing worse than a step loss. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's their move. Um, and at the end of the... Well, we do have some guns behind the lines here. Where is... Oh, there they are, sorry. Um, yeah, at the end I can move my commander. I'll just move him... Oops. The whole thing should... with their one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so they're all in range <sighs> with him there. Okay. So now that's 39th Fusilier formation activation. Comfort of Cohen now. Um, look, the problem is... Actually, no. So, so the units that cross the Dustberg Bridge here don't have to follow this primary road. They can follow this secondary road through Holzingen out to the left. So, if I can just zoom out a bit, there are two obstacles. You can see a bridge down here, Gemund, and a bridge up here, Dustberg. I need to clear out one, two hits on these engineers to clear this road through Hosingen, because uh, they are currently projecting line of sight onto this crossroads here. And then I need to clear out this AT gun. And at some stage I need to stop these German American reinforcements coming down to reinforce this area. And there's these guys here as well moving up from the north now. Should have moved these earlier. I discussed this in the first video, but um, yeah, should have done it. Alright, so... Cochin, what can they do? They're going to move in here, keep these guys occupied. They, uh, they're they not going to take a shot yet. We'll say, we don't want to spend too many of the command points. But certainly, we've got some off-map artillery that's going to have at it. So, targeting these guys, targeting the... Uh oh, jeez, it'd be nice to suppress those uh, that armoured unit. Look, let's target the infantry. Focus on one at a time. Four or less, no. Needing two or less, no. And no barrage marker either. Four or less, the other one, no. Uh, one or less, I believe. Yes, and that is a cohesion hit. Oh, so yeah, suppressed and with a cohesion hit. Now let's have a go with the uh, the infantry. And again, targeting that, um, that unit on the bottom. Five or less, yes. So it's six, down to three or less, no. Five or less company bonus, no. One or less, no. Two units here, five or less, nope. One or less, nope. Five or less, nope. One or less, no. A series of bad rolls. Um, come to expect it from Kampfgruppe Kochen. Um, and they're done. Okay. 26 Volks going to do. They need the command. So 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Plus 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dispatch rating is 3 or less. Oh, so close. They always seem to roll just one off what they need. But good command points here. Um, all right. Well, we do have these guys down here. Um, they'll get out of column, and I think they're going to move up an aggressive position on the edge of the woods here. Um, it's next to the river, so the Americans can't, well, it'll be slow for them to cross over the river and try and outflank. It's a long movement around here. This is really the most direct path to try and block that road. So they'll sit up there. These guys don't want to do any, oh, actually, they can. Um, we could bring on our, spend some artillery to blind that AT. Um, 
which will give them sort of a bit of uh, we've had the division activation, we don't need to do much, they're not going to, we do have the American Direct Command which they can't use to activate independent units so as long as these guys don't move they're not really a threat um, now nah, look, I'm going to spend one command point to fire my off-map artillery uh, which is the two and the three again over here so three or less, nope getting a f uh, four basically the dice roll. That is, that's a miss. But most importantly, we have a barrage marker over these guys, which gives this unit. And what I was thinking mainly is these other infantry units some flexibility to move into this area. So these guys in column one, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and a half. One, two, three, four. Uh, again, these these so kind of fanning out now, blocking these roads through which this company might come down and reinforce, and some army units might might come down and reinforce. This is a, a major north-south road alongside the Clough River, which Americans up north could potentially use. You've got this unit up here, um, and closing in this AT gun to eliminate it. Once the Germans get close enough. Uh, they can really hurt it. Zero armor rating. Um, it's in a village, so it'll be minus one. But um, yeah. Um, can I have a first? Uh, one. Mortar, sorry. Two. Three, four. One. Two. Three. And then it's going to stop there being mindful that this heavy barrage marker will disappear next turn, at the end of this turn. Um, these guys, column one, two, two and a half. Um, these guys, Ooh, well they need to kill this off, yeah we need to kill off this unit um, because it also projects a line of sight onto this road. Um, as an armoured unit we basically need hits and it's a two-step armoured unit too. So the threat is not completely removed. Um, I forgot about these guys. It's not just the engineers and the AT gun, it's this AA gun as well. Um, so they're going to move into this town here, one, and then get out a column with plans to project fire on these guys and blind them in the future. Um, and we do have all these guns as well. Two, three, four. Might leave that to the uh, Ersatz companies. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I need to think about this uh, 78th Grenadier. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a half. Um, and of course, we have all these reinforcements arriving. On to here. Um, so let's have a look at these forces and see what we have. A lot of. Uh, oh, they're, they're hard hitting. This is going to get the job done. Yeah, we're bringing it on these guys first, definitely. So I'll just double check their entry location. 16th of December, 9419. So coming on here. Um, now let's have a think about what we want to bring on first. I think the fast moving... Fast moving kind of reconnaissance. Is one Panzer Alpha 130 perhaps. Are oh, these four Panzer Alpha 130? Um, or 33, this one over on the right, here we are. In column. There you go. One, 
two, three. I'll double check bridge. Um, they've got to be in column to cross. I don't think the uh, bridges have any other effect. No effect for a tractor wheeled unit in column. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bugger. <laughs> Let me move those guys up there as a second thought. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and they will not shoot, but they're in a position to really harass that AA gun. It's a strange plan, but... Alright, we have these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen. You know, it'd be nice to have some dual purpose guns on those engineers. I might stop there, get him out of column. Um, and not have a shot again, conserving my command points. Next fastest moving, got some nice heavy Panzer fours. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Following up the road. fast moving in their trucks. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they can make it easy. With I'll put in with them. Alright, what else we got going on? These guys. Let's bring it here, just have a look at them. Uh, lots of wagons, lorries, 28 movement points. Um, mm, there's still this rear guard here, which is just a pain in the backside. Uh, so maybe I should. Put some effort into clearing them out. Um, I'm trying to think of what else they could do. If I send Panzer Group Lair up here, maybe to this sort of area, keep Fox Green D down the southern region. Um, I think, yeah, it's not the best. Oh, some of them are, are uh, these guys are in division trucks, so they'll just, they'll just queue up. And I think um, they have piggybacking, that's right. So I set these all up to piggyback um, in the setup. This is, just to unflip it, the AT guns um, with organic transport and I brought in some division trucks to help the, uh, the other two units 
of that formation. So that was uh, 26 Fox Grenadier Division. That was a big division activation, a lot of reinforcements coming on. Alright. Um, next one from the Cup. Allied Direct Command. Now, not a lot they can do. Um, rally these suppressed guys, perhaps. They're in command. So they will spin that. They thought that's, they'll pass that. Spin a uh, command point to rally. Yep. And that's all I want to do, I think, at this stage. Alright, 77, here we go. Let's focus on these engineers, try and grind them down. I'm just going to start with, so... Uh, command rating of 4, 2 off-map artillery, 2 ersatz um, companies in the area. Uh, I'd say a range of 6. Yes, yeah, so that's too far. That's pioneers. Um, Yeah, we can bring these columns in to help out. One, two. Actually, before I do that, let's do my free attacks first. Starting, um, might go around uh, with our mortars, I guess. Mortar here, targeting again. This is the engineers who are in an entrenchment, so it is, mi and they're in a town. So it's because they're considered armored. It's minus three plus one, minus two modifier. So it is three, one or less. Yes. And that is a possible suppression. And again, very important, so they'll automatically pass that. Three or less, which is one or less. Nope. Oh, it's a, uh, of course, a light barrage. And then two or less from these guys. Nope. All right, now we get the infantry. Company bonus, five or less. Yes. Six minus two is four or less. Yes. That is small arms on an armoured unit, which is a possible suppression. Passed. Two units up here, five or less. Nope, which means two or less. Nope. Bottom unit, five or less. Yep, which means four or less. Yes, another possible suppression. They'll pass it again. These engineers are important. I don't want to risk them being suppressed and then assaulted. Um, they're not going to stand much chance in an assault. Five or less. That's not the dice roll. Five or less. Four or less. No. Over here now, five or less. No, two or less. That's a hit, which is a cohesion hit. They now have their first step loss. Okay, bottom unit, I think five or less. Yes, four or less. No, five or less. Yes. Three or less because they've got a cohesion hit. Yes, another possible suppression. So we're wearing down this uh, 28. That's a lot of command points they're spending. Again, these guys have a low trip quality rating, which is <laughs> reduced to zero. Oh no, plus two because of that. Um, we've got the old organic artillery over here. Uh, can direct fire within four hexes, so they'll have a go at two or less. Uh, <sighs> reduced to zero. Yeah, basically reduced to zero. No, it's a miss. Um, now we can draw on our ersatz columns. They'll go one, two. They'll go one, two. They'll join up here. All right. So the engineers just one more hit and they're gone. Um, very close. Very very close. And that then clears all of Holzingen. Okay. We're done with that formation activation. Next one, German direct command. Look, I could spend a lot of command points around here trying to finish them off, but you saw basically I did what, that entire formation caused only one hit, so I'm not going to um, waste. Uh, any other direct commands I could do? I could have a shot from here. That would be pretty good, actually. That would be a good chance of a company bonus. Uh, put it up to seven. Only a minus one. Six or less looking to hit, but it is another look. It's another Vox Grenadier, and I think I can wait. 
as nice as it, as it might be to take a hit. So, sometimes I um, spend command points freely to shoot, sometimes I just hold off. Just double checking there is, that's it, so there should be one yep, one chip left which is uh, Panzer Division activation. They don't really need a lot of command points right now so that's not too bad. Um, so at the end of the turn we clear barrage markers. We um, I think advance the turn counter toward the night turn. That's that's um, unfortunate. Um, would have been nice to finish off those engineers. They can more easily rally at night. Um, uh, they can't rally from that step loss, at least. Um, yeah. All right. Turn record tracker up one box to the night turn. Did I bring on? No, I didn't bring on the Panzer. Oh, they didn't—they didn't arrive, of course. Uh, so, next turn we determine the weather. It is the night turn. This is a pain because now we're gonna have fog coming on as well for one turn. Uh, so, no weather effects at night. We uh, have reinforcements arriving during the night turn, and yeah, Panzer Lear. But we also have this no activation, which means that there'll be some Americans who will be able to activate now. We also have an event, historical event taking place. I'll keep that in mind. And we have some more of these guys arriving with the 26 Vox Grenadier Division. Right. Now we can buy a command and disp uh, dispatch point, sorry. They've got plenty of dispatch. They really need their command, so they're going to stop there. Um, they will buy one, two, uh, one, two, three, four dispatch points. Two, three, four. Because at this stage, dispatch points are far more important than their command point. They need to activate as many units as possible. And who do they want to activate? They want to activate. They want to activate Fusilier Regiment and Grenadier Regiment for four dispatch points. One, two, three, four. Um, I won't worry about these two just yet. Yep, so pretty happy with that. Panzer Command, Panzer Division, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And they would like to buy Comfort of Colin for this turn. And this is a night turn, I know, but. And then. Uh, we might buy Comfort of Lois as well. They've got a lot of uh, dispatch points and command points. Um, yeah. Look, the Americans have so many dispatch points, they're going to activate the 110th as well. For the first time, actually. Um, so with that done, we can put all these back in the cup, and we know we're starting with the second Panzer Division. Night turn. So this is uh, remember a night turn um, visibility limited to three hexes, minus two fire rating, minus two assault rating. Um, but in most of these cases, we're looking for zeros anyway. So from yeah. Um, and they're so close. One more cohesion hit, and they're gone. And I don't want to let up. So they're pushing, pushing this uh, 77th Grenadier Regiment through the night. Um, yeah, to try and finish off those engineers. Um, it's interesting that I finally activated the um, 110th Regiment at night for the first time, but. But, and why am I doing this? Well, it's probably a bit silly to be honest. Um, it gives me extra movement down here, extra possibility for firing in various locations, uh, extra possibility of rallying. They're out of command, it's going to be tough, but uh, look, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, so I've purchased dispatch points, um, put chips in the cup, and we're ready to go. 
Second Panzer Division, rolling for command. A zero. Um, so they get five, one, two, three, four, five. Dispatch, they've got to get something. Two, one, two. So it's lower than their dispatch rating, and it's lower than how many, of, how many dispatch points they had. Now, um, well, this is awkward because they've got all these, oh, some reinforcements, but their reinforcements come in up here. So they should be able to. And what have we got? These guys first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm. Actually, sorry. <laughs> Before they bring the reinforcements in, they're going to fire with their off map artillery. So spinning a command point to fire here. Um, so we've got a few, one, two, so two pioneers are attached and the two off-map artillery. Um, I sh this is what Steve keeps telling me about doing this first. So we'll fire with the artillery four or less first. Nope, needing a five, minus three, two or less, minus nine, one or less basically. <laughs> That's a hit at night to cause a step loss and it's just a light barrage uh, well that's all I need so I don't, I'm not going to spend any command points to um, fire with any of the others so that's 10 again I need to, I, that's what I should have done first so 10 11 12 13 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, no, I'm going to stop there. Um, reason being, if they, they have to stay in column in the forests, I'd like to take them out of column there. We'll finish off this area first. Um, yeah. Yep. We'll try and focus these guys around this area. Um, let's bring these guys on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and it's night turn, so I'm not going to waste command taking a shot. These guys moving around there as well. These guys piggybacking, and they'll pretty much all finish off around there. Um, I rarely piggyback. Um, it's just one of those rules that. <sighs> really use in so many in, in any of the titles. It's I guess I haven't played much where Eagles Dare or um, Devil's Calder and so it's just one of those rules that which is I, I understand the rules probably more important in those titles but less important certainly not important in No Question Surrender or Operation Mercury so of some importance in some scenarios I have used it in um, the greatest day sometimes, but you don't have huge um, areas to move across. Um, so exiting, piggybacking, <sighs> unit has to expend half its movement allowance, which they don't have. So they're still piggybacking there, for now. Alright. Um, was the second Panzer Division. Again, I could spend command points, but I don't want to. These are, I've got to remember, these are Panzerlehr units. 
the colours are pretty similar. Um, yeah, I think we're done with that activation. Next, 26 Fox Grenadier. Alright, rolling for command. Not good. They get oh, 5 command points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be painful. Got to remember not to spend any command points. Dispatch points. Nothing. So they're going to be able to maybe get two formation activations the next turn. And that's it. Um, and not a lot they can do this turn. We've got these, these, these guys here. Which they want to get off the road. So 1, 2, th 3... Oh. One, two, three, four. Get him out of column. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a half. They can... One, two, three... Stop there. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So we've got this Grenadier Regiment 78 kind of bypassing, causing, and they can help out if it gets really tough, but engineers, one more cohesion hit and they're eliminated. Um, yeah. These guys now, they are in trucks. Um, Again, more important in the campaign game for now. Let us follow the road. So, sending Panzerlier up to the north, giving them some options. I guess they can go right or left. Um, you can see the sort of advanced guard here coming back down the northern side of Hosing and clearing out this AA, which I have to do. Um, Pioneers no longer need to be here, so they can get into column and go one, two, one, two, three, four, and disband that ferry. I better double check the ferry rules in terms of disbanding, removing a ferry. Um, no, engineering marrying the ferry can cross it to remove it, so they can just cross straight over there. Um, <laughs> Now for all these units, um, and if I spend a command point to uh, do anything to fire on this AT, I won't have enough command to then convert dispatch points and get two formation activations, which I really want to do next turn. So uh, look, I um, I'll go one, two, three. Three. Am I remembering the weather rules? Fire rating, assault rating, yep. I can't, oh yeah, I could see that. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. Four. Five. These guys will go one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, one, two, sorry, three, four. We have crossed the river. One, two, three, four, and we have blocked the northern road. One, two, three, four. So as long as we have a line of sight, they can lay some light barrages on those guns. One, two, three. I'll stop there, don't need to get any closer. 
Here we go. One, two, three. that uh, slope there. What do I do then? Four. And... Uh, <sighs> take a cohesion to get out of the column. It's going to reduce their firepower by one. They already have a firepower of two. They look fishing for zero. Uh, yeah, they're fishing for zeros anyway, so may as well get them out of column. Take a column. Uh, get a column and take a cohesion hit to get them ready. Cohesion hits. There it is. Um, yeah, they will dismount in a future turn when it's safe to do so. Um, I will move these guys on, but before they do, opportunity fire, four or less, fails. So, one, two, three, four. And at the end of that activation, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. This is a uh, division activation, um, so they can't actually. Neither can they. What was I doing? I think they're there. Yeah. Um, so they can't enter the line of sight of this AT gun, which is limited to three hexes at night. So they've got to stay outside this area, or they have to spend a command point. Um, yeah. These guys staying where they are. Happy with everyone else, but of course we do have some reinforcements. And, yeah, pretty sure they're arriving at at 93... One nine. Um, nine three one nine. Ninety one twenty. This is no, sorry. Five to eight. Yeah, they arrive at ninety one twenty. Right here. Um, move these guys up. One, two and a half. So I did still need the engineers. One, two, three, four. Okay, I guess it keeps that road open. Oh well. Engineers, come back and keep the ferry running. Um, we now add, the other thing we do is uh, during this turn we should add the Panzerlehr Division activation. Oh, we should act at the cup actually. So it'll come out this turn. They get their dispatch rating of 3, command rating of 5, 0 DPs, 4 CPs. These guys will come on when that ship is drawn, so it should be in there from the start. I think we're done with those. And 20th Infantry Division. Um, rolling for command. 0 plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and rolling for dispatch, 1. And not a great deal they can do. Um, 1, 2, 3, they can't move into the firing range. Um, night turn, they could have a shot, um, but a bit, I mean, we are exhausting a lot of command points, I think they'll stay still. Um, wait, we do have some units becoming activated. Uh, e, F and H, 2, 1, 10. These guys. And they are going to have to rush south very quickly. They can come down here... Oh, yeah, get onto this road here. Okay. So, column. One, two, three, four.
four. That's not very quick. One, two, three, four. Column. What is the quickest way to get down there? One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. They don't have any transport with them. Um, so I guess normally they'd kind of be up north to protect this road, but yeah. Yeah, I think they need him more in the south here, uh, where the Germans have already crossed the river. Um, anything else happening this night turn? Hands of regiments. Um, Panzer Regiment 901, 13 units. Yeah, those guys, when their division ship is drawn. Um, so that's it for that 28th Division activation. Not a lot happening. Fusilier Regiment 39. Um, right, so now this is, this is down south again. They have line of sight to these guys, so they can draw on their off-map artillery. This is two command points, and there's no independence elsewhere in the area. So, this is two and three of these guys here, targeting this AT gun. Ah, let me just check, because we're really on the outskirts now of Artillery Park C. And I don't, they may be just out of range. 24 and 24, let's check there. They are out of range, so they can't actually target those AT guns. Uh. Um, so I'll have to disband the artillery park and move the artillery forward. They could, however, target there, but there's no yeah, units in their formation. So that's my plan, I'm going to disband that artillery park. Um, did I get some mortars into the area? Yes, I did here. They are in range, so needing a 3, minus 1 is 2, to miss, but most importantly, again, barrage. Um, and mortars here with a range of six. They'll try again. Four minus one is three or less, <laughs> of course. Okay. Now this is important because now I can bring these everything closer. One, two. 3 4 to dismount. I have some organic artillery set up right next to those guns. Um, these guys may as well rally while they can. And then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, 1, 2. And um, I might try and build some improved positions with these guys, 5 or less. No, it's a failure. So we do have some minute work. Um, bring up some more mortars from the rear. One, two, three, four. Um, these guys will try to build an improved position. Failure. Yeah, not a lot happening there, but uh, yeah, getting close to those guns. <sighs> okay, they're done. Next activation, Grenadier Regiment 77. Come on, let's try and try and clear out. So basically, because of night turn, because of their armor, they're all fishing for zeros. Zero needed. Nope. Next one. Yes, that's the last cohesion we need. Um, this is the final step loss. They go to the graveyard. That is deleted. That is deleted. We can then um, 
we can then think about what to do with these units and I think they want to focus on these these guns out here so um, one two they're now in their line of sight of this unit so they'll stop there we'll then get our off-map artillery to fire this is one and four they're still in range so three or less yep five or less no but a light barrage and we'll get the other artillery to fire as well four or less nope a direct hit is a cohesion hit okay the important thing here is now we can bring in the other infantry so one two three one two th uh, one two it's easy to put them in column first one two three four uh, so we fire with two independents we do have another independent here might bring them up one two three that's all our independence done um, one two three actually yeah two three actually sorry they will rally to remove that cohesion hit so we've got one two three four one two three four and we had one more to left didn't we so one two three four put them in range all right so we have captured Hosingen that is clearing this whole crossroads area now putting pressure on the AA gun here to clear that line of sight and there's just the AA gun down here so really there are two American units that we need to worry about this AT gun which has normal line of sight to the road and this AA gun which has normal line of sight and again just a reminder this should this was placed on the road but I, I messed it up a little bit they um, they found a little passage across this um, this slope here so that's the end things okay so just a reminder as well there's a timer here For the Germans need to clear these two units by well the 0900 turn to win um, they have this is a debt today this, this turn here is a deadline for their decisive victory so they haven't secured a decisive victory if they can do it by the 700 turn it's a substantial victory um, 11 a.m. or later is a draw or a loss so they're done Panzerlier division okay so we have all these units here and I think given given how important this, this path is and this is this is the way that the Germans are going to secure victory they're not going to do it up here they haven't cleared this area they haven't kind of cleared clip oh they uh, <clears throat> they want to put bring all these Panzerlier units to f put pressure <laughs> really just on this gun um, if we can so um, they don't have a lot of command points um, we'll just go Uh, this is a rather here they are a tracked unit in the clear is two so one two three four five six not shooting again keeping in mind um, gonna try and save that the rest of these units still in column one two oh sorry I think I've been doing it wrong I think I've been treating secondary roads as primary roads so armored and tracked units yeah I definitely have um, secondary road costs for wheeled and tracked units in column is one so they should have only moved half as far as they did so look, I think I'm gonna skip all their turns because in effect they've moved twice already um, apologies to anyone watching who I, I yeah it's another rule I sometimes get wrong is I <laughs> accidentally forget that secondary roads for wheeled and tracked units have one movement point per road primary roads it's half and for foot units on secondary roads it's a half it is just wheeled and tracked units on secondary is a half movement point um, but do we do have to bring in the Panzerlehr reinforcements and we have to roll for their command of course let's do that first command 
that is definitely what they don't want. Uh, they need a lot that dispatch points. Come on, nothing. Okay, not a great start. Uh, okay, so these guys come in at ninety four one nine down here. They basically find the road blocked in front of them. Because. Because, because. There's all this infantry in the way. Alright, let's put the tanks out in front. A lot coming on this road that I can't fit. Um, I guess they could head north across Dustburg. To be honest, I don't think they're going to have any much of a consequence, much of an impact, um, given how hard it is to get this AA and the massive German units already surrounding it. So they're done. An event. Now, the event for uh, this turn is that von. F Lay reverts to Panzerlehr control. So that's pretty straightforward. Now again, if, so there should be an attachment marker here, but yeah, I don't think I played that right anyway, but that's a minor thing. So it reverts to control, and now we have their formation. And now we have these guns in the area. So firing on this AA gun out in the open at a range of one, so it's negative one, so company bonus, six or less. Yep, so firing at six, minus one is five miss. These guys are 7 or less. Yes, so 7 minus 1 is 6. Yes, so this is a dual purpose gun. <laughs> well, on an armoured unit. Wait, because it's a night turn, so it's minus 2. So no effect. Wow, almost eliminated them. Forgot about night turn effects. Um, the rest of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do I take some shots? No, it's night turn. I'll wait until next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Done. Allied direct command. Um, okay. What do we do? They've got to try, I guess. So, command point. Not in command. Can't do anything. Um, Alright, command point uh, for these guys. We're going to spend four command points. One, two, three, four. These guys getting in column. One, two, three. Four. They may be trying to interdict this road here. Yeah, that's the plan. If they can get line of sight, one more space. So, um, let's try and force march. Five or less. 
fail. <laughs> Okay, you got to watch your rig, Germans. Yeah, okay, that's a, that's a way we can um, do something. Um, move him up there. I believe they have line of sight to them as well. So as they try to leave the hex, I don't know if um, you can opportunity fire if they fail. Um, I won't worry about it anyway. What else? Okay, so I spent four, so then there's these guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three. Uh, look, I'm going to try and force march with these guys, actually. No, I'm not. They're so far away. Yes, I am. Four or less. Yes. One, two. These guys can then move four, and they'll try and force march. Fail. Um. Yep, okay. Yeah. Americans need to start responding. Okay, Comfort of Cochin up here. Um, in red. They've got some off map artillery. They'll fire with that first. Four or less company bonus. Yeah, five, it's basically minus. Uh, minus two, minus one, minus five, so you need a zero. Nope. Other one, company bonus, yep, but they need a zero, one, I think. Yeah, that is a light barrage now. Um so we've got uh yeah these guys here could have a go. Six or less. And then six minus three minus four is f needing a one or less. No. Um, here, five or less. Yep. So that's minus five, needing a one or less. That's a hit. That's a cohesion hit. That will kill them off. So direct hit of zero. Um, yeah. Getting rid of this infantry. Um, alright, I forgot where I've lost track. Five or less, no, needing a zero, no. And I'll finish it up there. Ah, uh, look, been at it for about, what, nearly two hours. Uh, nearly done. This should be the last activation. German direct command. Um, and I do want to put something in the way of these guys. One. Yeah, okay. I've got to block their, their way to the road. They can't get to this hex. Um, so, one, two, three, four. Um, <sighs> try and force march them. Yes. Up to there. Uh, one. And then they're moving downhill, so I think it's just two. And I'll take a cohesion hit. Two, 
just to block those Americans. And I'm going to do something here as well. So this is a, this is a direct command, sorry. Command point and another command point. Fuse, uh, group mortars. Just standing in the way of this company as it tries to advance. Um, like to occupy this area too but with what one two three perhaps with this column here another command point one two three and a half they will try to force march and succeed so they'll move up here and then fall out a column take a cohesion hit. So this blocks this, <laughs> it basically prevents the Americans from interdicting this road. Um, they're standing in the way. Germans could probably do some damage, particularly to this mortar unit here, um, but it it's stops them just jumping onto that road and preventing, it's a technicality, but it prevents um, uh, the Germans from having this road cleared. Now, I guess another technicality is free of American units or fire zones. Now I think this should be technically without the light barrage markers, once the barrage markers are cleared. Yeah, so they're done. That's now, um, there should be one shit left, that's it, yep. That's now the end of the uh, night turn. I'm going to stop it there, just after the end of the night turn. So I'll recommence uh, some other stage on the 17th. There isn't much left. This AT gun, they're less of a threat, and this AA half track up here. They have a cohesion hit, there's a lot of armoured units in the area. This is an unarmoured target with a lot of infantry in the area, some mortars which can all hit it. Uh, these guys now have a range of one, but anyway, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright, I'll stop there and in the log file, save the game in a moment. Um, yeah, again, any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.